Hello everyone, Manny here with a quick tutorial about how to set up your elevators to look proper inside of your vaults. All right, now I do believe you're gonna have to do some type of power glitching to get this to work. Oh, if you guys see, we're back in our atrium. Got it finished up, looks pretty nice. But I felt like it needed an elevator. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put in a small two-story. Now, okay, yeah, that looks good. Okay, now if you guys notice, it doesn't really look all too awesome in here. But we're gonna go on ahead and change that. First off, what we need to do is we need to remove our front and rear floors. Okay, now this kit is really good at sinking inside of itself and sinking inside of other things. Now there's just some things it won't do, but for the majority, uh, it's gonna let you do kind of whatever it is you want. Okay, and then what we want, we want some to go right here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to turn our darn elevator. But that's okay, because it's still an easy turn. And do a little bit of that. I've been having I've been having to do a lot of uh, side elevators in this place because of the way that the kids kinda built. But it's no biggie. It still looks pretty sharp. Okay, and that's looking that's looking pretty good actually. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to go on ahead and finish it off. One thing you could do is you could go with these sweet windows. Actually, I, I like that. So that way people will be like, oh, it's the elevator. And as you guys see, the, the pieces are just snapping right on it. Okay, now for this top one, I think we're going to go with another window, but we'll go with one of these mid windows. Let's go with the uh, overseer's windows. Oh yeah, that sharp. And so the last thing that you're gonna wanna do is try to get uh, your pathways right. And really all we have to do is take this up. And we can probably put another one on. I'm not too, I'm not too sure. Uh, these things are kind of weird. All right, so we've pretty much finished up our elevator. The only really things left to do is just the finishing work. I went on ahead and extended the uh, elevator column just a little bit further because it was hard to get a top on it and I wanted really a nice clean look for it. Um, so all we really can do is go into the railings and then just look for the proper railing and then attach it. Hopefully it fits but I don't know it would be a little weird sometimes. And then there are like tons of different railings so yeah. But we're gonna figure it out. I think it wanted that one. No, I don't think so. No, no, we got, we got problems. <laughs> but let me not uh, take all the time up making rails. Let's just go and check it out. Looks pretty awesome. Only problem is that we don't have power to it. So what we're probably going to do is run ourselves a conduit into the wall to the outside of it just so that we can supply ourselves some power. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. All right, so let's get our elevator powered up. Apparently the elevator only has one connection and we kind of put it inside the wall. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, now this is just a test. You could have something much more elaborate uh, than the generator sitting in the middle of the floor, but uh, I just wanted to show people how we were gonna power this up. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of place it in this corner come inside the elevator and then you'll be able to see it and then we can just uh, wire it up if we're right yeah there we goes all right man look at that oh yeah fun tip guys apparently you have to put glass inside of the windows in order to make them real windows I tell you man this kid is just something else i'm really enjoying it anyways uh thanks for watching like share subscribe and let me know what you guys think in the comments below and other things that you guys might want to see me try thanks for watching take care everyone